Another major fire destroyed several businesses and the apartments of eight families in Paintsville Monday night. Among the rubble, the town's only bowling alley, spare time bowling lanes. WIT's Alex Casper-Peak spoke to the owner who says the fire took away much more than a business. A place to hang out for generations of teenagers. It moved from over in town where they set them by hand that many years ago to put an automatic scores in this building in 19 and 59. Fannin and his wife have owned the bowling alley for 27 years. Monday night, they watched it burn. Our life just going up in smoke. I, I can't express how hard felt it was. The bowling alley was also the home to the Johnson Central High School bowling teams. I started bowling when uh, my freshman year two years ago. And it's been the funnest thing that I've ever done in my entire life. A place the team practiced destroyed. I was just devastated because I'll never be able to go back in there in the same building and experience everything. everybody just coming as a family and it'll just never be the same. All of the team's equipment also burned. That's mostly why I, I cried half a night. I didn't get to bed till the next morning around 7 o'clock because of that reason. I mean, the, you know, just as kids, I can't, can't say enough about it. Looking beyond the rubble <laughs> to a season and a new place to call a second home. In Johnson County, Alex Casper Peak, WYMT Mountain News. Matches start the 1st of October. The coach says as of now they will go to Prestonsburg to practice and play. Fannin is not sure yet if he'll reopen the bowling alley.